Hey guys, welcome to another part of this video series of making a video streaming website. And if you have not already joined my playlist, please join it and subscribe to my YouTube channel if not already done. Like this video, share this video, comment down below how what type of videos you want in the future, and uh, let's get started. So today we're making ETA, which means estimated upload time system. Okay, so basically we just we need to do a few more changes also. We'll just get rid of this one. We'll just show them uploading. We only don't want to show them uploading. We want to show them how much video has been uploaded uh, and the total size of the video. Exactly. We'll do the same for here. Okay, well now the condition will change a little bit. Okay. We're saying progress is uh, greater than zero, but here we're just saying percentage, right? So here we can just say progress uh, progress is basically going to be a string. We go all the way down, we're gonna say progress. Okay, we're gonna split that string, right? Split at uh percentage. We want the first one section to be a number. So we can exactly know what's the progress of the thing. I'm going to do the same here. Same here. It's greater than zero. Then I want to show something else. No? Yeah. Okay. So we're just saying if this is greater than this, I want to show that. Otherwise, I want to show nothing. So let me put this thing in the nothing section. I mean, this thing. If the video is not being started uploading yet, but if it ha but, but if it has been, I don't want to show them the name because it has already been started. Who cares about the name anyway, right? And here we don't want to exactly. Sh I mean, I mean, we don't want to show nothing. If the video progress has been started, we just want to show nothing there. Because what we're gonna do exactly is the video size. We're gonna make a few more statements right here. So if you just like the video size, let's say US state snip, okay. Video size, set video size, and then we have the uh Video uploaded by default going to be null. Size uploaded. It's basically like how much we uploaded. Size uploaded. Null. That's what the size uploaded. Then we will have the another one with the name of maybe size uploaded, and then estimated set estimated time by default going to be null or Something like that. Set size uploaded, estimated time. I think that those two should do it. Now, where do we actually apply this logic kind of stuff?
let's close all the other things and here let's go a little bit down the estimated time is this here we can even just say estimated time our variable that we defined and then the floating we're saying the floating other than we can just say size of floater divided by video size MB so we're basically just showing me uh, how much is being uploading okay what is the status currently going on so let's go a little bit up and here we need to do uh, quite a few things yep so first of all we need to have two variables that are going to be pre-recorded first one is going to be our size which means initial size of the thing let's say let previous size is going to be 0 let start time is going to be new date uh, new date dot get time so this is our start time and this is our previous size so previous size is like how much file size we sent the last time and then here what we are going to do I just do it like this I'm gonna say once again it's kind of fast so uh, let estimated time is going to be equal to our current time which means a new date dot get time function subtracted by with our start time so this thing yeah get the difference it's not actually estimated time it's just going to be like more like a difference time what was the time difference between we get started until now that's going to be whatever we have till now it's going to be more like a difference time <laughs> time difference let uh, let size difference is going to be our old size actually our current size p dot loaded subtracted by our p dot old size it is going to be our current file is differences like the last time how much we sent and currently how much we are sending okay and we subtract both of them that's going to give us the difference and how what is the formula of speed difference uh, uh, difference of size of length something like that divided by difference of time so we can say constant speed is going to be equal to also make them constants it's going to be size difference divided by time difference it's going to be the formula of speed and now when we have the speed we can actually get our total estimated time so how do we get the total estimated time okay let me just think about this one wasting time difference is this one we are size different is this one and now we will have the total file size also right and we will say constant estimated time a equal b p dot total our total file size Uh, subtracted by how much we send for now file difference and both should be divided with our speed how much we are currently in what speed we are moving on and if I want to convert this thing into actually second because this thing is going to be in millisecond I want to say divide by 1000 once it comes on the log estimated time I'm not sure if this is going to be work, working or not but I'm just thinking it should be work, working fine like this Although well, tested out, we have to decrease our internet speed. How am I going to decrease my internet speed? Speed connected to the different network? Oh no. Professor split. Okay. So do 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 do
Okay, wait, say convert into string first of all. Test, we need to just go to network and here is a uh, you know speed controller we can just say fast 3G click on start uploading uh, this is more likely just maybe going to be the estimated time I'm not sure yep this is exactly being estimated time like how many seconds we have to still wait for the upload to complete and you can see it's showing pretty great things okay okay good 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 now what we want to do here to save this thing, I want to say constant progress number is going to be this thing. And here instead, I can just say, Yeah, get the progress number. I just hope the value changes. That's it. <laughs> okay, here we are having it divided by 1000. Where is that? So we don't want to divide 1000 means it's it was in millisecond format because we know the date is always in milliseconds when we get to like get time and when it's converted from milliseconds to seconds, we just divide it by 1000 and then we just say math dot c. Well, we could have said math of floor. But we wanna show a little bit, you know, one second maybe more than it already it will take, because we know that the times are never estimated, right? So this is going to be we're gonna say not estimated time exactly. We we'll say time in seconds. Now we wanna convert this estimated time in seconds into our normal format. So I think we already made the logic right here. Okay. Maybe a little bit more changes to be done with this thing. Otherwise, the things are pretty normal. The same, I mean to say. What we want to say here, uh, the additional thing is just basically going to be get rid of the filter, get rid of this thing. We just want to say mad that floor is okay at this place. We just say. constant display day is going to be so we'll make a okay. day our value day value minute value second value and here we're going to say day well it depends we want to show the day or not well it will depend upon if the day value is you know worth it let's say if day value is greater than zero then I want to show it want to say you can like another condition would say if it's greater than zero then I want to display my day I want to return some like yeah it's worth it stuff like that but I want to have another condition in here also I will say if day value is only equal to one which means we only will have one day so we'll just return back something like day otherwise we'll return days like how many days are there now it's going to be no we don't return back nothing so basically what are we saying here we're just having a few turning operators we're just saying if our day value is greater than zero which means we have days actually then we have a turning operator and here we mean we're just you know sending back something like days comma we're sending if day value is only one if there's only one day we're gonna send back its value as day. If it's more than that, we will send it back as days. Okay. So that's about the day stuff like that. I mean, we can also we also need to send the our day value.
first like that it's going to be for the day days hour minutes seconds hour minute and seconds you will have for the hour value minute value second value second value second value second value seconds minutes hours hour minute second we don't want to have a comma after second because second is just going to be basically the last one right uh minute value or value our value minute value minute value our value and then at the very end we want to just say our minute second If E is not equal to empty, then I want to send it back. Okay, and I want to say join them with a comma. And exactly, we don't need a comma here. I'm just hoping this thing works. Estimated funk. Estimated funk. You would give it an estimated time in seconds. And then we check the moment of truth. One minute thirty seconds, two minute thirty seconds, sixteen. Two minute twenty seconds, two minute nineteen seconds. Well yeah, that's my boy. That's exactly telling me what I'm how much time I have to wait, right? Great guys, we have done it. Other than just console logging it, I can say set estimated time function and then give it this thing. And if we maybe we may also want yeah, we need the total difference also, like right? that size uploaded, how much we have uploaded. Set size uploaded is just going to be our p dot loaded. One minute. What do you think? Previous size is going to be zero. But I have to say previous size is going to be zero. Okay, but there's a confusion in the logic. One second, we'll clear it in a minute. Let me say, first of all, set of the uploader size is going to be p dot loaded divided by 1024 times 2, which means it, it, it will convert the bytes to megabytes. Plus MB. No MB is okay. I need to say over. Previous size is going to be p dot loader now. Well, this is exactly what I would, what is logic. How was it showing something else still? Well, there is a time. Oh no 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 
we exactly don't want it to do this. We don't want it to do this. One second. What? Why did I say previous size is going to be pillar loaded? I just need to say previous size is going to be the initial size when we started the uploading. It was actually zero. Okay. Other than saying uh, previous size, you can just say zero. The initial size. Okay. They both look the same way. And I'm wondering that the video is not being deleted if I do something. Yep, video is not being deleted. I'm not sure why. They're not even telling us video is being deleted. Maybe we just have to say file that I made. Let's say upload. Alderon. The uploading will start in a minute. And this is the estimated time for the uploading to finish. Okay, this is a, a wrong thing. We need to say Dr. Fix 2 maybe. Let me do a ref refresh here. And great. Video video did was not deleted. Oh, we did a wrong spelling mistake there. File dot stream dot emit. Yeah. So yeah, aborted function was not handled correctly. Was not being handled correctly before. But I hope now it's being handled correctly. I start the uploading. Uploading goes like that. Close the uploading, video deleted, video deleted successfully. Yeah, that's right. We were not doing the thing right now, right? Currently, we just had the wrong spelling here in the border section. Good. We don't even need to say video deleted or something like that. I mean, it's still fine, right? Okay, good. Now, let's... We are having the... The uploaded size, we need to save it. Not to fix only two. We don't want to see more than two decimal places. Estimated time is size is good. Do we want to show them the their current uploading speed? Let me first of all see how does how will it look like. I want to just get the taste of the thing. <sighs> Uploading speed, it does seem to be okay, but it just seems to be like, you know, a little bit over two thing. Like you're saying, yeah, okay, this there was speed in MBBS, how about KBBS, stuff like that. I mean, uploading speed will can be a good thing. So the user can exactly know how what is his uploading speed being. Does he have to change something? Why is it uploading speed being low? I mean, yeah, uploading speed will be an advantage for both of us. You can see if it is not being perfectly deleted, that's good. Let's give it that uploading speed with a mind. Let's made it say uploading speed. Set uploading speed is by default going to be zero, and uh, here we have this speed. We're having the speed here. I guess probably the speed is going to be in a size difference, or the time difference. It's going to be in a bytes format problem. Let's get to know it by let's say in console the log speed. I'm not sure how this 
yeah, it's probably in parts. I just don't knew the formula, but so I did it. Upload over this video. Start the upload. This is our speed. Eighty-five. Let's just say this is going to be eighty-four. <coughs> so according to my calculation, I think it's eighty-four bytes per. Is it bytes? Let me see. Eighty-four KBs. Where did I divide by one thousand twenty-four? Yeah. It's a KB kilobytes. Just say set uploading speed is going to be speed divided by one thousand twenty four. The auto fixed to Okay, and then we want to say MB per second. Make a byte per second. What's the downloading speed of this guy? This is the exact image, the downloading speed of this guy. And let's go down, loading speed. Loading speed is this thing. Throttling fast 3G. Let's try uploading anything else. This thing, let's get a title. Uh, let's not give it anything. Let's say start uploading. Uploading speed is just being 0.08 Mbps, somewhere around that. An estimated time is being this much. It is only 12 megabytes, so yeah, it, ta it should take us around two minutes for this thing to be uploaded. Alrighty, it's, it's giving me good vibes. Okay, another thing to man, another thing we can we should do right now is that we well basically if the video if the guy is trying to upload a longer video, we don't want to first of all make him upload the full video and then tell him, oh yeah, sorry bro, your video is too big for this thing. No, we don't want to tell him that thing. But exactly, we don't say. If video file is there, and first of all, I want to see if video file is file dot size divided by 1024 to the power of 2. I think it's probably in bytes. If it's greater than 1. Free. We need to convert it into gigabytes. And the floor, where the one? If that is the thing, I want to show the error and I want to return it. One GB max file size limit. Well, let's see if it exactly is one GB or not. One gigabyte. Start the print. Oh, one gigabyte max file size limit. I mean, we cannot cross that one gigabyte max file size limit. Right. Correct. In the size, we can maybe convert this size into a gigabyte also. We can just do that. I guess. I mean, we can do a lot of things, but I don't want to just make it too more complicated. Let's just say video size, video size. So, video size is going to be this dot to fixed. 
maybe we can make it a little bit more better this all thing is going to be greater than 1024 I want to show something otherwise I want to show something then I want to what I want to show I want to say that Divide by 1000, not actually 1 million, let's say. All by 102 for the power of 3. 102 for to the power of 2. You back this thing, otherwise, I want to normally give back whatever we were giving. To fix it. I'm not sure this is going to work out, but I hope so. And I guess where we're calling the video size, we're just defining the MB right there. Don't get fooled by this mistake because we're not going to do that. Go all the way back. All the way back in here, we're just saying if this is the case, then we'll return this thing plus GB. Although, if that's not the case, we'll return this thing plus MB. Let's see how we go around this thing 2.37 gigabytes. Okay, I don't know how close is that. 2.36 gigabyte. Well, dot to fix a uh, kind of get the things right here and there. It's actually 2.5 gigabyte. So I mean, probably it's kind of close to what we expected it to be. 2.37, 2. This thing, blah blah stuff like that. I mean, right? Doesn't really matter. And get the exactly dot to fix thing. How about we say man the floor? Then we get this to fix thing. I don't know. No, we're just going to get rid of the decimal places. Uh, let's get a smaller file like. This one, 0 0.01 megabyte. Are we kidding me? Yeah, I guess he's kidding me because we need to say multiply by i uh, to the power of two, not to the power of three. 11.75 megabyte. Are you sure it is 11.75 megabyte? Yep, it is exactly 11.75 megabyte. Well guys, that was a little bit of system that we applied right there, the size system, and once the user starts the uploading, uh, let's suppose using fast 3G test description, let's say this as my first video, we refresh, let me say delete it, delete everything we have for now, we have only three documents, first video, and then we have First video description without thumbnail. It just auto generate going, going to auto generate the thumbnail. Let's see. Start the uploading. Uploading speed is kind of okay. And there we go. This is the uploading. There we go. We cannot click anywhere. We cannot do anything. We can just close this thing here. And another thing, another scenario that I, I have in my mind, if I try to close it while the video is being uploaded, what should happen? Well, we need to up, uh, update our logic according to that. We'll say if 
our progress is greater than zero, I try to close it. I'm not gonna let them close it. I'll just probably throw them some error. Uh, some alert, you cannot close, blah blah, stuff like that. Unless until the video is not fully uploaded. So the video, the user only gets one choice. Load the page and close the network. Close the request. Or we can just have a, yeah, if, if we just try to cut it, we're going to say, okay, are you sure you want to cancel the upload? And then how are we going to cancel the upload? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, that's our deal. I will see something. How do we close the upload? Uh, I guess this thing doesn't look good. Like, this is the 50%, but it's just not the right thing. I mean, we should have got it in, in the middle, somewhere stuck between the middle. So it always remain in the middle. But for now, it just seems pretty okay. We need to increase its uh, size a little bit also. So we'll do that in this video because I don't want to make multiple videos doing different things all the time. So probably let's do it. This is the text. So, okay, video was uploaded. View was uploaded. Thumbnail was generated. Nice. Let me make sure everything is perfect, right? Processing video. LG SM. So probably if I want to do some change with it, I just have to do what I just have to make sure. It's kind of stuck in the middle. How do we make sure that? Let me see oh, what is the structural thing going on right there. I mean this processing video thing. What is this processing? I don't know. I mean this processing video thing in the middle. This is going to be a pro uh, progress bar and this is going to be another progress bar in the total one. So maybe I will just take this thing out of here. Put it in here. Okay, it's gonna take its own space then. And we have to do this thing already that we are doing. And I just say like I'm already saying just the way content middle, right? Text center, I'm just doing it. Uh, I need to sure say how do I make it stuck in the center? No matter what. Position fixed. No, then that thing is not going to be there. And I have to give it a custom height 20 pixels. Nope, nope, we are doing we are doing good already. All I can do now in this case is not making the it in the middle, but instead at the end of thing. By default progress is being zero, we can say by default progress will be zero percent. And uh, once, let's say, we are increasing this thing. Wait a bit. 
14 person and I want this thing to be not in the center I want to be content and more like text align right with the margin okay yeah text align right just do it Are you closing the thing? Okay. So I progress to zero percent. Righty. Zero percent. Let's go down now. Let's see where is the progress. Text center. Text right. Text SM. Margin right of three. Yep, exactly what I want. Now we are on the no throttling mode, which means we can upload big video without issues. Let's try to upload an OK big video. That is big, but will not take much of a time. Oh, you see the speed 125 megabytes per second. Okay. Well, that was it for this video. E now, I guess we are pretty much done with the uploading sections. Yeah, pretty good to go. Okay, last thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We forgot that that thing. Closing the XHR request. If the user want to close the, the port, one signal, we'll research about it. All right. So I did a little bit of search. There's a thing that XHR provides us. That's called the controller for the signal. So basically, we'll just say here normally constant controller is going to be a new. Hmm. When we new about controller, managing about requests about controller like that, and inside of Axios request, where is that? Inside of Axios request, here we need to say another thing is signal is going to be controller dot signal. This is the value going to be now we are able to manage the signals and basically we have we will create another function also we'll say constant close everything is just going to be a function and it basically just going to close everything close everything uh... set video selected set video set uploaded uploading speed is just going to be zero estimated time is just going to be zero set size uploaded so as uploaded is going to be zero. And what else is there? And type a message to the video size. Values, values, set values. Press, press them. Controller, okay, that's it for the close everything. And I'm gonna give this close everything function to First of all, this guy. And then, that another guy. Fuck, close. Close everything. Here we'll also include the... Well, 
wait a minute controller.about function is going to you know stop the signal and cancel the request and once we do it say so if we give it in E E is basically going to be anything if E one of us will above the request and we'll say more like a port cancel send notification type set notification message is going to be upload CLED cancelled and we will be giving E only when this is going to be this one that's it, true otherwise we'll just have this function like that like normal let's say yarn dev mode mon time for testing loading this file test decrease our video sp no, speed right fast pg start the uploading uploading was started successfully close it upload cancelled and in the network we should see your no it didn't cancel really it's still saying pending and I do think it, they are still sending the thing to the server we still have the video that means this thing was not aborted really Controller or about uh, signal controller signal. Let me do a little bit, little bit of search, and I will come back to you. Hello, guys. I'm back, and uh, I tried a few things, but nothing seemed to work. But at the end, I thought of one thing, and that seemed to work. So basically, what what is happening? If we're trying to call the controller the about function out, out outside of this, you know, on upload progress function, it doesn't work. It doesn't close the request. So basically, what we have to do, we'll just make another one. Uh, connection closed. Connection closed or set connection closed is by default going to be false. So here we'll say it's going to start when say first of all if connection closed is going to be true then what I want to do I want to say control dot about the function use the function otherwise do nothing. Other than saying control dot about I would say mm, set connection closed to true. Okay. I think it should work for now. Do we need anything else? Set so to close to true. Afterwards, <coughs> it's gonna do its work. And basically, I want set to my function after. Let's say maybe after two seconds. I wanna say. Set connection close to false again because uh, if the user tries to upload the video again, you shouldn't face any kind of issues like that. We don't want to close this request at that moment, so I think at least he should take, it would take him two seconds for to do the, to do the things he wants. If he otherwise, I want to have 
set connection close to false as default. Right? Right. Let's give it a try. No throttling. Fast 3G. We can actually see here the, what happens to the request actually. Test. Start the uploading. Uploading has been started. I click on close. It should close this request. Upload cancelled. The request was not cancelled. Well, that's unfortunate. How do I exactly cancel this thing? How do I cancel this? Give me, give me a minute. Alrighty, guys. So I know the solution. What we have to do? We need to put this controller inside a user ref book because we want it to update accordingly. We want it to update dynamically. It's kind of like that. So normally it will not be able to over use upload function. Will not be able to, will, will not be able to listen to this one. But when we use use ref, then we go a little bit down. Here we say controller dot about. We need to see controller dot current dot about because use ref actually provides a sort of current function. The current thing actually not function. Let's say control dot current dot signal and then we have to do say nothing in here, okay? This is like how everything is going to be normally. Close everything, close everything. Error uh upload cancelled. And it's actually going to cancel the upload. Uh let's take a look if everything is currently doing being done. Okay, close everything. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, good. I was I was saving the my file in the okay, we need to uh, remove this connection close stuff like that. I was actually saving my file inside a notepad because I was trying to get you know use the cancel token that was the depreciated function of uh, function of Axios, but I found this user ref thing and it worked pretty fine. Really appreciate that thing. That's the first one refreshed. Now let's say fast 3G. Finally, guys, let's take a look at this thing. I'm trying to upload this video using a slow 3G, which means the connection is going to be slow. Let's say upload. Okay, connection was started. Uploading is started. Okay. You see the starting <laughs> seems bad, right? We'll fix that later. You can see video was added here. Now if I click, if I click on close button here, upload cancel. The request was cancelled. The video was deleted. Basically, that's how we do it. They just cancel the thing right there, and that's neat. And that's how I like it. You got the point. I try to refresh the page. Uh, it will be a different condition, but basically it means that we made this function work. All right, and that's good. And the uh, last thing I want us to do is basically this progress bar. We need to take a look at this one. If it's one person, what is happening to it? Why is it being so bad? Okay, what is this? I don't get it. Oh, actually, one person doesn't have enough space to actually show the radius, so radius will literally not take any effect if it's one person. You can see kind of animation going because we have the width animation. You can see it's getting started from nowhere. Only if it's two person, it's just being fine. Then when it's two person, before it's being two person, it's not being fine. 
So does it mean we have to start from two person? I'm not sure. Overflow hidden. Can it actually do something here? Yep, overflow hidden actually helped it out. I was thinking about using overflow hidden basically. So we need to use overflow hidden in the parent section of this thing. No such file as thumbnail. Right, yeah, we'll see about this thing also. Or so hidden. Closed, no such file, unlink, storage, slash thumbnail. Not thumbnail, I mean to say thumbnails. Well, you have to say thumbnails. So basically the thumbnail file was there. Find the bugs, fix the bugs and move ahead. That's how we do it. Right my boy. Let's give it a final try. Let's make a success upload and then a fail upload. Delete everything. Upload. Video test speed is going to be a fast speed with a custom thumbnail. This one video uploaded, that's good. And uh, now let's upload another one, the same one actually. Processing video, okay. The progress is going to be zero person. Why is it not calling it? Okay. Set progress zero person. Let's examine this thing, what's happening here. Width is gone. This is being... Where is the width? Okay, bugs and bugs. Why is there, why are they showing processing video even? It shouldn't. Oh, wasting set timeout. Right, we did set set timeout. That's why I hate set timeout. Sometimes it can be the you know video uploading can be so fast that the set timeout will actually backfire on us, basically. Uh, maybe what we can say is. Uh, other than saying processing video, once the video is 100% uploaded, we will say nothing here. But something in here in the progress section, progress. Okay, width is going to be just the thing we want, the percentage we want. But the this one is going to be so if progress is equal to 100%, then 
then what I want then I want to say send back processing video otherwise send back our progress I hope this little thing should fix our issue right I hope so okay let's do upload video title test description custom thumbnail upload or video upload or nice let me upload another one this big one it's a title and network is going to be slow 3G slow game start 1% 2% 3% ok speed is very slow <laughs> If I close it, the connection should be closed. Upload cancel. That's my boy. The video file should also be deleted. Nice. Everything was dealt with pretty easily. How about we upload some video? That's pretty. That may take a little bit of while to process in the uh, in the back end, right? As an example, this one. Let's upload it. Okay, holy crap, what's the speed? Yeah, we have to click uploading. What is going on? Oh, accidentally closed the network. Start the upload. Okay. Something is not right. Okay, so you see, just uh, just now we fixed the we faced the bug. Control the connection. Run the report. So let's say one thing: one, if we try to close this connection. I say dot about, then I have to say controller dot current is going to be a new about controller. I guess that was something that was creating the issue. I'm not sure though. Cancel it. In the network, we should see it cancel right there. Try to put another one. Put it. Yeah, putting is started. Something happened. XHR request. What happened? Can read copies of undefined any request of files or thumbnail as thumbnail. Okay. 109, 109 else this as the mail is going to be able to close. Okay, so what is happening here? They're saying no, there is no thumbnail. Why are you just telling me to check for the thumbnail? Has thumbnail is incorrect. Oh, I see, I see the issue. Basically, what would have happened? We close the connection, right? 
once we close the connection it doesn't know what happened no this one sorry here border wasting streams are on and close I'm gonna say has thumbnail is going to be equal to false in both the cases not the finish one okay has thumbnail is going to be to become false so that should fix our issue. I'm gonna try to do a full refresh. Load it again, the big guy. Here we go, is your thumbnail. Uh processing the video. I didn't cancel it this time. Video uploaded. Processing is done, okay. What if the user try to close the video while the video is processing? Uh, can we do that? It's actually, I mean, it, it will not actually matter though. Uh, I guess it will matter. Yeah, I was we were talking about before returning some error, console the error, not actually console error. If user doesn't didn't wait for the video processing, if the video was too big to be waited for. Mm hmm. I think the processing should be done by the server. There should be something like you know, yeah, you you have to wait here until the video is processed. Okay. Still, we are saying we need to process the video first of all. Then we can move forward. So user has to wait for the video processing, right? Well, let me try to put the same video again. Videos, let me say upload the same goddamn video. It's a thumbnail, but this time we're gonna close it. About it, nice. If I try to upload, I try to upload the same video again or any other video. Okay, what happened now? What is this shit? Oh, if I don't have a title, it will not let me upload it. It will not tell me what's the issue. Well, that's not what I want. Where is the title issue? If values of title is unequal to zero, then I want this. Okay. Values dot title. Set and message. Well, I'm not sure why it didn't. Called it though that time. Well, this time it did call it, but last time didn't call it, right? Title is required for uploading. Well, I do get it, but last time you didn't call this thing. So basically, there are some bugs that we have to be that we have to basically fix. Okay, we're saying set values. Title is going to give the value of initially what it was before. Empty. Okay. It's not equal to empty. Values of title, values of title. Yeah, 
let's try it again. Actually, that was fast because the video was uh, small. Let's try this big boy. Okay, we're trying to click on this, it's not showing us any error. Neither I'm sure what's happening. I'm trying to click on it, nothing's happening, nothing is being processed. I guess we close the upload video function. Maybe that caused some chaos inside the code. Maybe, maybe not. Say console dot log that is a title. Not title. Okay. Let's take a look. I try to upload this big video. Title is required, that's nice. No title. Title was empty. Test. I was about title. I tried to upload again. No title. But why are not you showing me the notification other than saying no title? Okay, set the message. Then I call in this function, man, god damn it. We're not gonna fix in the errors all the way. So I'll just try to fix this issue if I would could have or if I found a way. I'll tell it in another video, but for this video it's all fine. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.